Okay, we just rigged up a very quick hyperbaric gap. That is uh, two copper pipe electrodes and a vacuum cleaner. That's a Black & Decker handy vac, which we just had to buy because I just wrecked the motor on the other one. Um, so that's feeding, uh, that is on blow, actually not on suck. And it's feeding the hyperbaric chamber, which is a small PVC uh, coupling. Um, and the two copper electrodes coming from the sides. A uh, very quick and dirty arrangement. They were actually uh, wrapped in Teflon tape, so they just screw right in, and you can adjust the gap width by adjusting uh, by just by turning them. Um, the tank cap is back where it should be at a full 16 caps, because um, we're back to a static gap. Uh, this one makes a bit more noise because of the vacuum cleaner, but the performance is really good. I'm going to crank it up now and we'll see what we can get. Okay, quick look inside the gap. Um, it's a three uh, section junction PVC box, uh, very cheap. Uh, two inserts, hex inserts that are threaded have been glued in using PVC cement. Uh, that is just a pipe connector, PVC pipe connector, that is just jammed in there. It's a really tight fit, really snug. Uh, two copper pipes, um, there is some um, Teflon tape threaded around it. You can see that there, hopefully that keeps it um, centered and you adjust the gap just by twisting them. Um, very quick, very simple rubber band, just acts as an air seal. Um, very, very cheap, very easy to make and very effective for NST Tesla coils.